For step ups, it's going to be a glute focused movement. I'm going to show the body weight version first because these can be tricky to get used to if you've never done them before. So I like to start with a pole in front of me or something that I can hold on to for some extra stability. You're going to have either a bench or you can use the stair steppers with the risers. You could use a chair, whatever you have that is enough for you to make a 90 degree angle with your foot on the platform, on the bench, whatever it may be. So you're going to start at the top. You're going to take one foot behind. This is going to be your non-working leg. You're going to hold on to your platform for stability and you're going to lean back, hip hinging, tap your foot on the ground. Don't completely let go. You want to keep that tension and then use your glute to bring your body back up. So you see I'm not pulling myself up. I'll show that again. really hip hinging and then pushing through my glute. I'll show it on the other side. Hip hinging, tap my toe, push through my glute. If you are feeling wobbly, you can lower the height of the bench or whatever you're using. And when you're ready to do weighted step ups, this is how you'll perform them. So you're going to start with your working leg on the bench, have your dumbbell in the non working sides hand. So it's going to be opposite. You're going to grab for stability, either your pole or handle something in front of you. You're going to step up. Bring the non-working leg out, keeping your shoulder tight with the dumbbell in your hand. Big breath in, brace your core, sit back, hip hinge, tap your toe, push through the glute. Sit back, tap your toe, push through the glute. So it's all about the eccentric all about the lowering portion of the movement. 